Hey guys, Jivin here. So in today's video, I want to share how I have embraced the Asian Pokemon here. Enjoy. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you like what you see, be sure to smash the subscribe button and turn on post notifications to never miss a brand new video again. So as for the Asian Pokemon here, after you shower, this is how it usually looks. And usually it gets better if you wear a cap or a beanie. You know, anything that passes your hair down. But if not, your hair just basically sticks out like this. I still have my sideburns and the back of my hair. So here and here. So some of you might not know how bad Asian hair can be. Yeah, I don't really know what to say other than you guys can see for yourself how bad my hair is. So in this raw video, I just want to show you how it looks without me doing anything to my hair right after the shower. But a few things I want to point out so far in my hair growth journey is that my sideburns over here on the right side, when it's all fully dried, it tends to curl to the, towards my face. So here it tends to curl like that. Another thing as well is in the back of my hair, over here, it tends to curl like that. Now this could be because when I sleep on my back, my hair just presses on the pillow and then that could just press the hair flat. But for the side of my hair, when I'm not sleeping on my sides, it just sticks out. And another thing I noticed as well is that the top of my hair over here, it grows a bit faster than over here. So with my top back of my hair growing a bit slower than my front top hair, it makes it for an awkward transition. So I'm just kind of like growing out my hair longer right now just to see what hairstyle I can do. So even though this hair growing process is not easy for me, I've come to accept that my hair is Asian hair and you know, a lot of Asian people have this problem as well. And when this problem occurs, what usually happens is that you have two options. One is to grow your hair as long as possible. So when your hair is super long, it just naturally falls down. Number two is to cut your hair super short every two to three weeks. So when I used to have my two block haircut, you can notice that my side over here is always short. And when my side hair is always short, it doesn't get to the point where you can see a porcupine hair like so. So technically right now, if I want to, I can just simply shave up my sides because what I want is to keep growing out my top hair to get the tubular haircut. It has taken me many weeks to grow my hair to this point, so I kind of want to see how far my hair can grow on the side hair until it actually like falls down. Now the growing process for me to get to this point to a tubular haircut will take many more months but I need to remember that patience is a virtue and when you're patient, your hair slowly grows out and eventually you will get there. So yeah, this is like a 2.5 months update on how my hair currently looks. If you like what you see, make sure to let me know down in the comments below and chat back next time.